Good morning, this is Robin Bremer. .net is the website and today I'm going to go over part two on angels and it looks like we're going to go about 12 weeks on this subject. We're going to do this every Monday. So I want to keep it under three minutes so I'm going to hurry up and do this. So the first thing I want to talk about today is that angels are innumerable. Uh, and Luke 2.13 talks about uh, with the angels a multitude of heavenly hosts. That's what the scripture says. And that's talking about when Jesus was born. So the multitude of heavenly hosts. Hebrews 12.22 says an innumerable company of angels. So there's a few other places. I know of one other place that talks about how angels, there's so many that you can't count them. Um, also, uh, angels are subject to God. Matthew 22 3 says the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who arranged for a marriage for his son and sent out his servants to call those who were invited to the to the wedding and the kingdom of of God is his rule his reign his dominion his government inside of us and the angels are the ones that um, bring about those things that we speak and agree with that he's already accomplished on the cross okay and now the next thing is um, that the angels, the kind of work the angels do, they hearken to the voice of the word and we are the word. When we speak what God speaks, the angels move. When we say, by your stripes you have been healed, when we lay hands on somebody, then the angels move and bring that about. They hearken to the voice of the word. We have to speak the word just like Jesus had to speak the word and God woke the world into existence. And that Psalms 103, 20, 103 verse 20 and 21. Angels bring answers to prayer. Daniel 9, 21 and 28 um, talks about uh, Daniel was praying and it said uh, that Gabriel flew swiftly to him at the evening offering and informed him talking with him so angels can talk with us and angels are meant to talk with us. And I'll show you more like on the seventh day of teaching uh, on angels on a, on every Monday. But I think on the seventh day is when we start talking a little bit more about that. Anyway, uh, the angel talked to Daniel and he said, I came forth to bring you skill and understanding. So I think that's really interesting and important that angels bring skill and understanding. Now angels also minister to the saints. And angels do so much it's kind of hard to put this into... Um, uh, to gather things together because so many of the information overlaps. But um, this is the last thing I want to talk about today is uh, angels minister to the saints. Not only do they minister to the voice of his word and that we have to speak, but they also minister to us. Um, Hebrews 1.14 is a very important scripture that talks about that. It says, Are they all not ministering spirits? sent forth to minister to those who will inherit salvation? And that's us. And so the angels are there one of the reasons that the angels are there is to minister to us. And we have to speak God's word so they can go and perform it. So that's it for today. Let's see, tomorrow, um, next Monday I'll be teaching about um, angels, um, other things that angels do, and referring to the scriptures. Um, it just goes on and on and on. It's so exciting, this, uh, this information that I've been able to gather about angels is so exciting. So. My name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. Every Monday for the next 12 weeks, actually 11, 10 more weeks after today, um, I will be teaching on angels in heaven. And on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I will be sharing some other good things that are not about angels. So I will talk to you tomorrow, and you have a blessed day.